Let's do two examples of showing that a given transformation is not a matrix transformation. We will do this by showing the given transformation violates either of these two properties. When we introduced matrix and linear transformations, we saw that these were the two most important properties for such a transformation to have. And if a transformation doesn't have these two properties, then it's not a matrix transformation. Link in the description to my lessons introducing these topics. Here's our first transformation. This transformation takes vectors in R squared and sends them to another vector in R squared. Just at a glance, it doesn't appear like a matrix or linear transformation because of the x squared term. And we can easily prove that in fact it is not a matrix transformation by showing that it doesn't follow either of these two properties. Let's show that it doesn't satisfy the homogeneity property. On the left side of this line, you'll see that we transform a scaled vector, 2 times the vector 1, 1. You can see that we're plugging 2 times 1, 2 times 1 into the transformation. On the right side of this line, we take the vector 1, 1 and transform it and then scale the image by a factor of 2. These two things should be the same if this is a matrix transformation because a matrix transformation has to follow the homogeneity property, that the image of a scaled vector is the scale of the vector's image. But as you can see, this does not in fact satisfy that property. When we transform 2 times 1, 2 times 1, the x component gets squared, so 4, and the y component doesn't change, so we have 4, 2. But if we scale the image of 1, 1, the image of 1, 1 under the transformation is just 1, 1. When we scale that by a factor of 2, we get 2, 2. These things are not equal, hence this transformation T does not satisfy the homogeneity property and so is not a matrix transformation. You could have just as easily shown that this transformation does not satisfy the additivity property, but let's go ahead and show that this different transformation does not satisfy that property. So this is a transformation from R3 to R3. Its behavior is that it takes the X component and multiplies it by the Y component, and it doesn't change the other two components. Again, at a glance, this does not appear to be a matrix or linear transformation because one of the components is a product of the variables. And in this case, we'll show the transformation is not a matrix transformation by showing that it violates the additivity property. On the left side of this line, we have a vector 1, 2, 3 being added to a different vector, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and we're plugging that sum of vectors into the transformation. On the right, we're plugging those two vectors into the transformation separately and then adding their images. These two things should be the same if this is a matrix transformation because as we know, matrix transformations satisfy the additivity property. But of course, it turns out these things are not equal. One plus negative one, two plus negative two, and three plus negative three are all zero. And if you consider the way this transform works, that's going to just output 0, 0, 0. And this is not equal to what happens if we transform the vectors first and then add them. If we transform these vectors first, 1, 2, 3 gets mapped into 2, 2, 3. Remember, it multiplies the x and y components together. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 gets mapped into 2, negative 2, negative 3. And when we add these two images together, we don't get 0, 0, 0 like we got before, we get 4, 0, 0. So clearly this transformation violates the additivity property, hence it's not a matrix transformation. And that's how you can take the equation of a transformation and show that it is not a matrix transformation. As we know, a matrix transformation has to satisfy these two properties, and neither of these transformations did. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and if you find my linear algebra videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining as a channel member or pledging on Patreon for exclusive and early access to select videos, or you can make a one-time donation on PayPal. Any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm a V to the T, my parameter the rapidest, happens like this, my lecture. 
features the most prominent dominant call me the morgan i get the compliments the union in together like any time that we intersect because my opponents know they need